y'all. So today we'll be touring the last Aroki Gahara souls. Okay, so let's get into part three because I couldn't even write this like I normally do. So we all know they didn't go to his house to talk about the game. Okay, we already know that. Okay, so Shay gets into Jay's apartment, right? And he has his strip lights already red, child. Now that sounds like a setup to me. <laughs> but anyway, so Jay asked Shay if she wants a drink. And she like, yeah, just don't make it strong. Y'all, when I tell you Shay was acting like a whole weirdo, like she ain't been over this man's house a million times before. So they drank the drink, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, why Jay beat her box up like none other? I fucking know, right? I had a feeling about Jay, but I didn't want to say shit in case he was just one of them like, damn girl, you so wet. Coming in two minutes type of guys. Baby, the way he had Shay moaning and shaking was uncalled for. The way Jay lifted Shay's waist off the bed and threw both her legs over one of his shoulders, grabbed her waist and went for what he knew, baby, had me reminiscing about my nasty old days. Now, don't get it twisted. Jay learned that night that Shay was not a pillow princess. It was the feet flat on the bed, hip rolling from the tip to the base with each slippery bounce for Jay. It was the, I could tell you sucking it like that for you more than me for Jay. I mean, they was loud as fuck and all over each other for hours. <sighs> okay, so it's like 9.30 a.m. the next day. Now they rolling up, taking a break. So Shay breaking the green down in the bed and all of that. And then Jay phone rings. So Jay picked the phone up. He irritated and he like, damn, what took you so long to call me back? I texted you like 30 minutes ago. So Shay tilts her head on her Scooby-Doo. She's like, huh? So Jay gonna uh, pay Shay the empty wraps. He gonna kiss her and then tell her I'm gonna be right back. So Shay like, let me hurry up and finish rolling up these blunts because uh, I'm Shay and I'm nosy and I want to know what's going on because why you leave out like that? So y'all, why was Jay in the front room asshole naked breaking up with his girl? To make things even more awkward, Jay was on the phone talking to this lady like, I know we just made a year and this is all of a sudden and with all the calls, but I want to be with someone else. Like, sir, have some fucking decorum. Shay couldn't fucking believe it. She got that sunshine, y'all. That son tell your mama I'm not coming home kind of box. Shay heard Jay walking towards the room, so she ran and jumped on the bed like she wasn't just all in the business. Jay got back in the bed, kissed Shay, and said, I just broke up with her. What? Jay bust out laughing. I know your faking ass was probably right at the damn door, which we all know she was. So what now? Asked Shay. Jay gonna look at Shay and ask, you and me to this bitch blow up. Oh my God, y'all. So then Shay gonna shake her head, yes. And then they gonna seal the agreement with a secret childhood handshake. Oh my God, these two, not with a secret handshake. So Shay felt a little bad for Jay's girl because that girl really did like Jay. But you know what they say, the whore wants what the whore wants. So y'all, days turned into years. And the next thing you know, it felt like six years had passed. And guess what, y'all? Six years had passed. Y'all, when I tell y'all they boss the fuck up together, I'm talking the car is out front, you guys. Like chauffeur type treatments on the regular. That why you choosing? Why you choosing one, baby? Get both type of bossed up. They started and grew multiple successful businesses together and were still carefree, but they was thinking about changing it. I mean, life was life, and y'all, and they got to do it together. And they got to do it happily in love. Now, I know what some of y'all thinking. And no, they didn't get married because neither of them wanted it. And what they say, what they what they be saying, uh, if they wanted to, they would. <laughs> 